Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Velenique. In this space, what I do is I test makeup for a mature skin. I don't know about you, but I find that as I am now on my aging journey, makeup that served me very well in my 20s and 30s no longer served me very well today. So I'm on the hunt for makeup that works well with a mature skin. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out some makeup from the Essence brand. So without any further chit chat, let's get into this video. Jumping right in, I'm actually going to start with my brows first today. Essence have brought out a new product called the um, Brow Lifting Gel Set Extreme Hold. It's transparent and it comes with a little brush. I really have been enjoying this product. I've been using it for about two weeks now. I find that it works very well when there's absolutely no makeup on my face so that there's no product that gets stuck in my brows. Um, just for interest sake, before I get into the skin tint, I'm going to be trying as well as the primer. I have a combination to oily skin type, my oily spaces on my T-zone. Um, on my skin today, I have washed my face, I have moisturized my face with, I use the Cetaphil moisturizer, and I have a La Roche-Posay sunscreen on. That was put on about 45 minutes ago, so it's really sunk quite well into my skin. So let's see how the products play today. So before I get started on my brows, I always just take a little bit of tissue and I just wipe the product sunscreen moisturizer outside of my brows. So this is what our product looks like. It comes with a very cute little brush and it's quite trippy because the product is completely clean, um, clear. You probably see like the little gouge marks that I've done with the little brush that I've been using. Okay, so this is how I've been using the product. I take a very small amount on the brush and then get my mirror. Then I pop it on my brows. So I start from the tail and I brush the hairs forward like that. Wow, that's flattering on the side to get that product really in there and then I take a little brush and brush those suckers all the way up. I've been putting some castor oil on my in my face care routine at night and I pop it also in my eyebrows and I actually think that it is um, working. They look a little bit fuller. I don't know if it's like my brain but I think they look a bit fuller. And then I just smooth it out like that. Once you get the hang of it, it goes quite quickly. Okay, let me finish the other side. There we go, that is the end result and it gives a nice laminated look which I quite like. If you don't have very many brows um, and you wouldn't, this product doesn't really appeal to you, they've also brought out a, um, a wow brow pen and this one's actually really really nice the tip is like a teardrop shape and um you can color in your brows and it comes with a lovely little spoolie as well i have used this one and it is a really nice one color lasts all day i'm not going to use it today because i actually quite like the natural ish look of what my brows look like so now what I'm going to do, my lips are a bit dry so I'm going to pop on a bit of lip balm and they've brought out this super balm and Oh, I am really, really enjoying it. Quite a nice big doe fit applicator. And it is so nourishing and hydrating. It says that it gives you up to 10 hours of hydration. I really, I enjoy this. I have been using this quite often. I will oftentimes just put a little lip liner on and just run out the door with this one on. But oh, it is so, so nice. Okay. Next one up, we're going to give um, the Hydrating Jelly Grip Primer a go. I'm not too sure how different it is from the Fix and Last, which I have absolutely loved. Um, I think they both say they're hydrating, both say they're free refreshing, and both say that they grip um, your makeup so I don't quite know what the difference between the two are I really love this one I've used this one a couple of times now and yeah I think it works the same way as the the pinky one does but let's just pop it on so what I'm going to do because I have got a new face tint happy days to um, test so I'm going to pop my primer 
on half of my face because I want to see if the primer helps the tint, hinders the tint, if there's any need for the primer at all. Okay, here we go. It goes on nice and smoothly. It has got no fragrance. It actually feels quite cooling on the skin. I actually quite like that. That feels lovely. I'm going to let that set a little bit and then we're going to start with the foundation and face products. While I let that dry down, I did find these two cute products um, while I was shopping the other day. They are the lip care sets. There is a lip care scrub as well as a lip care jelly sleeping mask. Of the two, I prefer this, um, the scrub. The scrub has got a very, very fine texture. Um, I think it's sugar based and it has um, a slight citrus smell. And the idea is obviously you rub this on your lips and then with warm water, you just wash it off. I find that it works really well to exfoliate my lips. The Jelly Sleeping Mask, I think perhaps is their attempt at a dupe for the Laneige Sleeping Masks um, for the lips. Um, this one, it's got a very nice little fragrance. You can see that I have used a little bit of it, but it is the strangest, strangest texture because it's quite granular. I don't know if you can see it in there. So it's quite grainy. So when you pop it on your lips, it's um, got like little hard little bits in it. And those little bits kind of stay there. Um, when you wake up in the morning, your lips do feel very lovely, soft and hydrated. But for me personally, I'm not a fan of the little bits. Okay, that is now dried down. That's quite tacky. It feels like it's quite tacky compared to the other side. Oh, there's a bit of tack, nothing like hectic, but it's, it's there. So why I wanted that to dry down first is that um, I found this Magic Filter Glow Booster. I think that's what it's called. Yeah. Um, and it's a liquid highlighter. I haven't really used it but I think the idea is that you can use this highlighter as a highlighter and you can use it underneath your foundation to give you the kind of lit within look so that's what I thought I wanted to try today just to see how that works it almost looks like glass skin it looks beautiful <laughs> Next up is the new skin tint. This one is Hydrating Natural Finish, Light to Medium Coverage, um, SPF of 30, and I sh chose shade 40. Uh, there weren't a lot of shades to choose from with this one. I actually found that it was quite um, limited. It's got a little nozzle applicator. And let's have a look. I have not tried this at all. I did try a little bit in the store to try and find my shade. It looks a little bit yellow. But pretty good coverage. Okay, let's give it a go. I have not had much luck in the skin tint department. So I'm going to pop some on my little palette. And I'm going to use a dampen sponge. This one is an essence one. Dip it in and let's do half my face. Okay, there we go. That is with one layer on half the face and I must say that the color match is pretty spot on. Um, my skin looks like my skin but just better. So let's do the other side and see how the whole face looks. Both sides done. I actually like that. That's very, very pretty. I do want to see if maybe I can just build it up on the areas where there is some discoloration that kind of shows through my little spots that I'm not really a big fan of. I'm going to pop it on my finger and I'm just going to pop it on those areas.
I must say I'm actually quite impressed. I like that. I like the coverage. For me, the coverage is perfect. I am not a full coverage um, kind of girl. I quite like a little bit where I can still see my skin through. And this just gives my skin a very, very healthy glow. Um, on both sides of my face where there's no where there's no highlighter and where there is highlighter I actually don't think that the highlighter actually makes too much of a big difference I cannot see a difference between my uh, either side of my face with the um, the magic filter underneath I'm quite keen to see what it's going to look like when we pop it over I actually am really happy with my skin that looks fantastic okay next one up is my concealer I have not found any new concealer so I'm going to just use one of the ones that I know that works quite well it's not like absolutely fantastic but it doesn't work too badly this is the stay all day 14 hour but what I did find is that they have got um, and it's called essence bright eyes and it is an under eye stick and it is brightening effect and caring so I think I'm just gonna maybe take a little bit on my finger let me just show you what it looks like first. It's quite soft. Very, very bright. Gracious me. Okay. I'm a little bit weary of things like this, but let's see. Maybe it works beautifully and these rings under my eyes disappear. Okay, let's pop it on. I'm just going to just use a very light hand because obviously less is more with these under eyes. And then it says on the packaging that this goes on first and then you pop your concealer on over it. Okay, there we go, side by side. Looks like it has brightened the inner corner at least. My eyes don't look too grey underneath because that's usually what happens when you put super bright colors under your eyes, I found at least for me anyway. Let's go in with that concealer. Bronzer, I haven't found anything new bronzers. I think they have got new bronzers out because I found a new blush, but they didn't have stock of any colors. So I'm just going to use my absolute favorite. This is the second one I've bought. This is the Baby Got Blush. And I have found that this product is so incredibly easy to use. You really can't have a bad day with this. What I do is I just pop it on my brush and then just above my cheekbones where the sun would hit naturally, I just very gently pat it in just to give my face a little bit of a bronze look and a bit of definition. What's lovely about this technique is that you can really build up your blush and your bronzer that you don't start off with a heavy hand but this formula blends so beautifully and effortlessly i wish they would bring out a contour shade oh it would be lovely Okay, I'm going to just do my little nose, what's left on my brush. Oh, and I love the smell of it. It's so divine. Right, next up, Baby Got Blush. So these are the liquid blush version of the Baby Got Blush and the Baby Got Bronze. I have got a Baby Got Blush, a little pinky guy. This is quite pink in the tube, but when you pop it on, it's quite beautiful and um, natural looking. So, oh, okay, I haven't used this one as you can see, so it comes with a little foam applicator. And let's switch it on and let's see it come in. Wow, okay, quite a bit comes off. I think I'm gonna take my brush, because that's quite a lot, and I'm just gonna dot it on.
That is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Do the other side quickly. And a little bit goes a very, very long way. I quite like popping it on the brush because then at least it's not going to be too OTT. Well, I was a little bit concerned about the color when I saw the color range because one was like a very deep, darkish orange and then there was this one here. Um, God, look how beautiful that looks. I mean, what is this one called? That would help her. Hey? Dusty Rose. Oh. That is lovely. Be very keen to see how long this color lasts, actually. It's just beautiful. I'm, I'm a fan. So for my eyes, I've got some pencils to play with. I have been playing with them, so I can't even say, oh, it's first time. No, I have absolutely loved them. Um, they've come out with, I think, these four colors. I chose three colors, and I have loved them. They're called Blend and Line. So they are so easy and simple to use. So the colors that I bought are Oh My Ruby, feeling leafy and full of beans what i'll do is after i've done my makeup today in the description box below i will put all the makeup that i have put on my face so that if you find something that you really like the look of then you know at least what it is all right so let's have a look and see this one is the oh my ruby shade so this is absolutely stunning it's like a burgundy burgundy shade which works so well on hazel eyes blue eyes as well would be stunning then feeling leafy i've loved this one too so this one is stunning this is like it's green it's got a bit, bit of a metallic shift that oh it's just so lovely and then full of beans the brown it's also absolutely stunning. Look how stunning they are. They're so cool and they're so quick and easy to blend. So what's really cool is you can actually sharpen them and um, like you would do. Works so well. Look at that. Fantastic. Let me show you like that. And this is the color that I'm going to use today because I'm in that mood. So let me just show you how I've been using it. I don't think there's any wrong or right way. I suppose you could if you wanted to use it as an eyeliner. I like to use it actually all over my lid. So I just go backwards and forwards until I get the color payoff that I really, really like. And I just go onto my lid. I think if you have hooded eyes, you would probably take it up a little bit higher. So I just draw that in like that make sure that I get the by the lashes and then I just take an angled fluffy brush actually maybe before I do that maybe I'll just use one of Essence's brushes these are one of their new little brushes that have come out and it's such a sweet little blending brush and then all I do just to soften the line in my crease I just then soften them so there's no harsh line and then I just bring it up up and out How stunning and I think what I maybe can do then is take the brown and then just go underneath my lashes so let's see if we can do that quickly so that looks really pretty let me just take a little smudgy brush and then let's just blend that so so pretty they are so divine and so inexpensive actually i don't know in terms of their wear time i've never really tested it but we'll see today because i want to do a bit of a wear test to see how long the tint lasts on my skin i'm just going to do the other eye i've purposely left the inner corners of my eye bare because what i want to do is i want to try and see if i can take some of the highlight and just pop it in my inner corners so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pop a little bit here first and on a very small little brush, I'm going to take some and just work it in and pop it on the inner corners. I like that, that's subtle. So now I just want to take what's left, just transfer it to the other hand and let's pop some on it to see what this looks like with the blush. I 
don't think I'm actually a fan. I actually think that it's lifting the blush. Yeah, I can see a bit of um, my foundation sticking out over that side. So, yeah, I'm not, not a fan of this one. Glow Booster. I think there's better stuff on the market. Let me see if I can fix my blush. Because I really like the blush. I like that. That's pretty. Right. Um, next up is our mascara. So there is a new mascara out called Call Me Queen. And this little guy, let's have a squiz. Uh, okay, it's a plastic applicator, but it's actually quite a small one that looks really, really nice. And what does it tell us that it does? Dramatic false lash effect. So I think what I'm going to do before I pop this on is I want to curl my lashes first. I'll be right back. They are nicely curled. All right, let's give this a go. I always try and take a little bit of the excess off because I just find these brushes pick up so much product. That is with one single coat or application on. Um, I think that looks very pretty actually. It goes on very nicely. I mean, I'm not a mad fan of these plastic brushes, but this one is actually quite a nice one. It's not so incredibly hard, if that makes any sense, and it gives, there's a little bit of give to it. Let me do the other eye. Those are both eyes done. I have messed here, but I'm going to let that dry and see when I, if it's how easy it is to take off when I do it with a, a spoolie once it's dry. I want to put another coat on and see how well this um, layers up or stacks up if it gives us more of a real false eyelash effect. Because um, at the moment, I think they look quite natural. So, one more coat. Let's see how we go. Yeah, that is with two coats. I think that this um, has got the propensity to clump. Um, I don't know if I want to maybe try a third coat. So that's the two coats. Let's do the other eye. I'm battling a little bit with my second eye um, to try and put another layer on and it is definitely clumping if you can have a look it's um, not I don't know I'm just maybe one side is always difficult to do but I'm really not enjoying the formulation I find that this mascara is actually a very wet formula um, yeah can't say that this is my favorite mascara that I've ever tried And I think I'm going to stop there, otherwise I'm going to look like a spider lady. So I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to go get a spoolie and then we can see if we can scratch that off. But in the meantime, let's just try a new lippy. So this one is a bit of a fun one. I bought it when I was with my sister now in the Eastern Cape. And it is What the Fake Extreme. It looks like it's black. It is a lip plumping, color changing lip gloss. So it comes out black. So let's pop it on. It's a little bit spicy. We both tried it together. I didn't find it like hands down, oh my word. It felt like fire ants on my face, but it was cute. I did try it over a lipstick, so I haven't tried it on my bare lips. So let's see. <laughs> If anything changes, I'm going to do it on my top lip and then we can see if there's any, any change. I'm going to put a little bit more on. Okay, that is that on. 
I think while I let that do its job and do a little bit of working, I'm gonna go and see if I can find my spoolie to see if I can scratch this off. I will be right back. Okay, I got my little spoolie. Let's see if we can get this off. Yep, it scratches off quite nicely actually. So that comes off nicely. Let's see how well it lasts during the day if it transfers. And um, lipstick wise, okay, the burn is not anything fantastic. I don't know if I can see if my lips look massively plumper than what they were when I popped it on. Um, the color's pretty. Let me do the other side. It means I should not other side. Listen to me. Let me do my bottom lip. Gracious me, I'm out of practice. It's just a bit freaky when you put it on and it's like a really black color. Because that's not really my aesthetic. But I think a nice deep berry color for winter is quite pretty. And if you don't mind a little bit of a tingle on your lips, this is quite a cute one. Excuse the window that's banging in the background. Right, I think that is pretty much everything that I have got to try that is new. Let me have a squiz. Um, oh, I wanted to maybe mention, I don't know, I saw these all over my um, Instagram reels and TikTok. These um, monochrome multi-chrome flakes which is like a, a topper to put on your eyes um oh, they just they look insane on um a little bit chunky Let's get a little brush and just show you so they are it's like glitter flakes that you put on your eye and they look incredible on they last an incredibly long time but they burn to high heaven so I have used them once and um, yeah I won't give them away because they burn your eyelids something fierce well that is it that is everything that I've had to try that is new from essence I must say I actually think I quite like my my little quick and easy look the lips are a little bit dark for me if I look again I get a bit of a fright but yeah, I really do like what my skin looks like. So I think what I'm going to do now is I am going to see what this makeup looks like in natural light. Right, here I am, natural light. And oh, I actually do really like what my face makeup looks today. I really do enjoy what the foundation looks like. Um, and the blush for me with the bronzer combination is absolutely exquisite. I really am very happy with that. So yeah, very happy with what it looks like now. I've got a bit of a late start today. It is about 12 o'clock in the afternoon. So I'm going to give this about eight hours and then I will check in with you at about eight o'clock this evening. And let's just see how this makeup has worn today. It is time for my end of the day check-in. I said to you that I would check in this evening at um, eight o'clock, but it is now 20 past five in the late afternoon. And I feel that I should just really update you and show you what my skin is looking like a mere five hours after I popped my makeup on this afternoon. So I'm going to show you what's happening with um, the base face, um, the skin tint of it all. I'm going to zoom you in. Okay, nice and close, you can see. So on my forehead, you can see that the lines are quite pronounced and that the product is kind of collected a little bit in my my lines um, product is broken apart on one temple which is quite weird um, on the side of my nose product is collected in and then around my mouth area the product is practically almost all gone product is collected here on the texture of my skin which is quite weird I've not had that happen before um, yeah all in all the skin tint has not really worked very well for me chatting about the primer for me personally i can't see a difference between the other side of my face one did not wear better than the other in fact the wet looks exactly the same to me so for me i don't think the jelly grip worked very well for me um it smelled like nothing but it felt cooling on the face so that would be the only thing that i would say was fabulous about it i did not enjoy the magic filter glow booster I don't know, this one just did nothing for me. It did nothing underneath my skin tint and it did it broke apart the product on my cheek. So I, for me, this is a miss. I didn't enjoy. I also did not enjoy the um, Call Me Queen mascara. I find that it has flaked off a little bit and um, yeah, I just found this one a little bit. I didn't enjoy it. I just didn't like it. Not for me. Um, what else didn't I enjoy? Or well, obviously the skin tint did not work for this mature skin which as I said in the beginning of the video, I have a combination skin. So dry cheeks and an oily tea panel, 
didn't do anything for me. Um, the bright eyes. Look, the concealer on both sides has broken apart. I personally did not enjoy how incredibly bright my under eye looked. I found every time I caught my reflection wherever I was going today, that's the first thing I saw with these like really bright under eyes. And for me, that ship has sailed. I don't enjoy what that looks like. I prefer something that looks a little bit more tone on tone with the foundation that I'm using. Um, so for me, this is a bit of a miss, but that's just personally. Um, I mean, you can have a look and see it has broken apart but it's not like crazy i don't think if you were going to use this you must use a super thick layer just keep it light easy hand it depends what you like uh what else did not work i think that's all that did not work what i absolutely have loved which i said in the beginning was the super balm i actually just popped some on just before i started filming again i really really enjoy this one i think i might go and buy another one and pop it in my handbag very similar to the um what are those ones, the Maybelline lip glosses, the one with the hyaluronic acid in. Got the same type of feeling on, but I think these ones last a little bit longer on the lips. I also absolutely loved the What The Fake lip gloss. I really enjoyed this one. I think if you enjoy spicy food, the spice of this on your lips won't actually bug you at all. Um, but if you are a person who doesn't eat any spicy food, then I think you would find this quite spicy on your lips because it does have like a bit of a peppery taste. I enjoyed the color of it. And once the gloss had kind of worn off, my lips did stay a nice little berry color for a bit of time. So I quite enjoyed this one. I will use this one again. It's a nice color for winter. I absolutely love my brows. I think my brows are still where I put them this morning or this afternoon. This does not dry hard, so my brows are not crunchy. They do feel a little bit tacky, but it doesn't bother me. Um, what I love is that I've put them there and they've stayed there. And I mean, this is under 100 Rand. It was so cheap, so I really would recommend this one. Big favorite. Another favorite, um, Baby Got Blush. Absolutely. I mean, look at my cheeks. They just still look like they've just been applied absolutely love this one so easy to use and blendability is fantastic i think i'm going to go and have a look and see what other colors they've got um i was quite surprised loved loved this color it was fantastic and then the little eyeshadow sticks i love them they say that they are long wearing i think they've worn off a little bit um but i just think they're so easy and oh, one and done and you you're out, just out the door there's no thinking required um, I might go and have a look and see what the third, the fourth color was. I think it might have been like a champagne color. But yeah, I'm quite happy with these. I would use them again. I would recommend them definitely. Um, what else? Oh, my old favorite, but you know that I love this little blush. So this is definitely, if you haven't tried this Baby Got Bronze, you really, really should. Oh, lovely, lovely one. Well, that is it. Is that everything that I used today? Other than my little brush, I quite enjoy the little Essence brush. Also, cheap as old chips. I think it was under 50 Rand. And it works very well with powder eyeshadow as well. Quite enjoy this little brush. Well, that is it. That is everything that is on my face that has worked and that has not worked. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have, won't you consider subscribing? It would be so awesome to have you as part of the community. And that's it. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.